Hello. Hi there. Yo yo. Hey. Hello and welcome to episode sixty-four, five away from sixty-nine this time of Dungeon of the <laughs> Mad Mage. And today's recap will be brought to you by the dice roll of a thing that's over here. It'll be brought to you by number three, which on my screen is Amber Oradan. Sorry if you're eating food. No, I finished. Um, but I took. Unlike me, I took terribly, terribly shit notes last time. <laughs> I have nothing. Uh, nothing. Start okay. at the same level as everyone else. Use your <laughs> memory. I okay. never write notes. All right. Jeez. Jeez. Um, <laughs> we start. Chingo's lost his money. He's very upset. Um, I think we started just at the point where we were still in the pub and we find out that he's just lost his money. He comes back. He's all distraught. Um, things are not well. Um I think we head back to the castle, possibly, and have a chat about it, maybe. Um, we have fortress, a chat. Sure. That's the one, Dalagor's Fortress. Have a chat about it um, and decide that we're willing to help Chingo try and reclaim his lost money and dignity. Um, <laughs> I confess, I can't really remember what happens next. All I've got written down is Xanathar Guild to the South, not into thievery. And something about full binder and an orphanage. I can't really remember. Someone's going to have to fill in the gaps. Apologies. And there's a, a kid called Michael and a kid called Grace. And then we long rest. <laughs> That's all I have. Sorry. I like it. Anyone else got anything to add to that? I remember really? doing some uh, divining. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was that. That's how yeah. we found Michael. And then and asked, Michael full binder. Yeah, and then... Michael Fassbender. Chingo went to the Thieves oh. Guild and had a chat to them, and they told them that there weren't, they only knew the parents, but not the, and who went missing. But they thought they may have had kids, then we went to the orphanage. But well, we asked another lady, I think, in one of the shops. And, and then, then she yeah. said, we gave, then we went to the orphanage. And we gave them, well, uh, someone, uh, Chingo promised them tons of money, which actually he just took for free from. From uh, yeah. from Orthos, yeah. and um, so the orphanage is now super rich, and there's promise for more money if um, the uh, four binded children. And we're expecting a messenger us. at Dalagor's fortress to tell us when the four binders get back to the orphanage. The um, also um, uh, Bertha got a message in her head to say that the items had arrived with her family yeah. and we were going to we've gone to the shop where uh, i think um uh, hopper uh, suggested you know, going to see tass and that's where i think we ended the session in she's going to offer us some magical items okay so you ended the session being handed a quite large tome of uh essentially what tass described as a a stock list, essentially. Each item had a, um, you know, a slight description, hence the URL, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a price and a name of the item next to it, just for ease of use. She handed it over to you, and you have been browsing for, you know, some time. And we will. Are there any like <laughs> little little pencils that I can like fill out check boxes in like Argos catalog? Um, she does not provide any, but I assume you, as Amber Oridan, always have quill and ink just on I you at all times. I, I do, I do. That's true. So, welcome back to the shop of Tass herself, as I find music. Yeah, there we go. Okay, begin. Where, where are we? We seem to be. Will you put the people faces in? Um, you are not in the poisoned quill on the map, but you are in the poisoned quill in game, so. And if anyone else is missing, then that's where you are. Where are we? Poison, right. poison quill, poison quill. It's right, black tack. Poison quill. Oh no, it's upstairs. Ah, oh, it's upstairs. Hmm. Okay. Right, lads, what's everyone having? Hmm. Ah. While oh. you're deciding. Can I uh, go up to the wizard and uh, I pull out a gold coin from my uh, cloak, dodges the one I was given last session. 
and I ask her... You don't, you don't have a gold coin. Remember from the chat I had? Believe I don't believe you have that coin. Really? Mm, I believe so. As far as memory serves, someone else in the party has that coin. Is it a special gold coin? Indeed it is. Yeah, it is a special coin. Don't you have it, Morthos? What? What coin? The one from the altar? The one from the altar? Don't know. I'm thinking about a different coin, Dodge. Do you want to be more descriptive of this coin? <laughs> the coin that the god gave me to flip if I wanted to get back. No, 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 no. She didn't give you anything. She, she her specific words were flip my flip this coin if um if you want to speak to me. But you recognise the coin, you do not have you do not have it. What coin are we talking about that I had? You, you recognise the coin as the one that was found on top of the altar next to the death of Muriel the Scorpion Man, and the person who has current ownership of that coin is Morthos Abaddon. Yes. Oh, okay. She's got Do I ask Morthos, can I borrow that coin, please? Um, Dodge. Hello. I do not understand the value of coinage. Um, I, I, that has become abundantly clear over yeah. the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to clear this with you. I'm going to roll a d10, a 1 or a 2, and I chucked that coin in the air along with the 500 gold. Oh my god, no. I'm happy with it. I'm playing the character, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, makes sense. So a 1 or a 2. Okay, you have it on your possession. After about 10 minutes of fumbling around... Occasionally passing Chingo a gold coin to hold, um, <laughs> I um, finally find the coin that he is looking for and give it to him. Awesome. Okay, so okay. you. Um, yeah, I'll hand it over to the lady. Is this, it's, it's difficult. Is this sorry, it's difficult to find in your coin purse with, like, you know, it has the same kind of colour as the rest of the coins, but it's a very different shape by the time you pull it out. Um, it. Instead of so a gold piece normally it's like a um, uh, I don't know can I just draw on the map instead blah, 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 blah. let's draw on the map so it's kind of like uh, this shape normally that's what a gold piece looks like in normally in this game but the coin piece uh, the piece that uh, Morthos pulls out is a perfect circle uh, the circle has two faces that are heads and they both resemble the same. Uh, woman with quite quite thin features, long hair that kind of flows past where the coin would end. Are you drawing something? Oh, he did. I'm oh, did not see it. Gone. There is. Kind of looks like that. What were you asking before, Elliot? I was going to say, like, is this genuinely a flaw of yours? The money. No, but like, I, Morthos has never understood or experienced currency until we met you guys. So, it, like, money yeah. means nothing to me. Okay. So, Morthos eventually managed to find the uh, specific coin that Chingo was talking about. Do you hand it to Chingo? Yes. Okay. Is this coin you look for? Yes, thank you. Fine. I take it, and then I... Okay, uh, add it to your character sheet, Peter, remove it from yours. Yeah, yeah. Can I show it to the lady and say, what, what can you tell me about this coin? You hand it to her. Yeah, can you, can you inspect this? Okay. Know, we'll she things. kind of molds it over in her hand. She goes, "Interesting. I've never seen a coin quite like it." Um, she fumbles around in her hand for a minute, kind of look for any imperfections, but kind of dismisses. So eventually, um, she waves her hand and it's in her hands, and it's a similar um, kind of. It's a spell that you've seen before. It's a spell that Hopper has done before. Um, it, it seems to be the way that Hopper seemed to identify like magical items that they're done um and she would say it has some inherent magical power i can see something of the divine but i don't know it doesn't seem to reveal any great use or power that i can see okay. uh, i'd uh, put my hand out to get back 
Oh, she hands it back to you. No problem. Anyway, my dears, have you decided, you know, I've brought in these magical and wonderful, wondrous items for you and your small friend? Have uh, you decided on anything that tickles your fancy? Anything that interests you? tone discuss um, a similar transaction of um, uh, funds for my family saying that there's people out there who I love who need the money more than I do need it to spend on new things but okay, my dear, okay. at the moment okay my dear okay we will discuss this after all the transactions yeah, yeah. are made no just worries. just wait behind after and we will yeah. figure out something new yeah my inquire please about the, um, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce this, the Perifé of Health? Per Periac? How do you pronounce it? I don't know, I don't know where you're looking. In the middle somewhere. How do you pronounce that word? I'm going to look it up. Periac. Am I Peri blind? Why, why can't Peri I see this? Periac. Uh, uh, number 20. 20. Periac. Ah, it begins with a P. Um, okay, so you asked for the Periap of Health. And she says, Ah, yeah, it's a curious little gem that I found. Um, you see that she does the similar... Um, you saw before, uh, last week at the end of the session, she waved her hands in the air to her right, and as she did, like, a kind of thimmer, kind of opened up and she would like as as she pulled up the book the same time as last time she reaches in to like the shimmer and a hand disappears for a moment and as she rummages around she eventually comes back out and pulls out and it's a on a golden chain like a beautiful ru ruby and like diamond shaped gem on a golden chain that sits around presumably the neck she says um it's like anyone who um uh, has this about their person will be immune to uh, contracting any contracting any disease and if you have any current disease you will no longer suffer with this disease hmm. i like it what color is is the gem gold the gem. gem is red it's a large ruby like a diamond shaped ruby okay certainly like the look of it uh, can i can i consider for a minute absolutely has she handed it to me? Am I like looking at it, or is she holding onto it, or is it like a piece of velvet or something? No, you can. No, she just hands it to you. It just okay. kind of like she hands puts it in your hand, and the gold chain kind of like rumples up in the middle. Okay, I'm looking at it in a considering manner. Oakley dokley. I would please like to buy the luck stone if nobody else is going for that. Shout. Always handy. I consistently forget that I have one, so I'd uh, recommend my <laughs> 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 I think you one of those? Yeah, it's an item from the start. She just never uses yeah. it. I just forget yeah, about it all too. the time. I've got one as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> always forget about it. Why don't you just add plus one to all of your saving throws and stuff yeah. so it's added in by default? It just does it automatically. Oh, I don't know how she. I don't know. I don't know why I don't do that. Okay. Let that's me. what I was thinking I'd do if I went with that. I would do that and then you don't have to remember it. I've got my boots and I've got my wraps. It's the amount of times that you would have won a saving throw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ability <laughs> checks and saving throws. Wah, wah. How does one add that? Yeah. Surprisingly, boots of Elvenkind are not an attunement item. Oh. Well, there you go. So I've got my wraps then. Your wraps are most definitely an attunement yes, item. Okay, cool. So, yes, you may take the Luckstone and, if you wish to, and it will cost you 3,780 gold. Yeah. Take that off my platinum. It's 10 gold for platinum, isn't it? 378 if it's platinum. You remove 378. Yeah. And it can do my math 
Absolutely. Ooh, Amber's feeling very flushed today. Anyone else? Happy the three seven eight platinum hand in, hand transaction made. Yeah. I don't. Okay. There's nothing really. Excellent. Out, I mean. She would um, she would you know hand over the uh the kind of strange pendant the one that you have seen, <laughs> you've one that you've seen Morthos and uh, Morthos and Bertha have but very rarely use. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but they have it. Um, and she would happily accept the three hundred and seventy eight platinum. And again, hand wave, open up the same kind of astral space, yeah. and just the hand would go in, and then the hand would retract, and the money would be gone from her hand. Like, a pleasure doing business with you, my dear. Please, any more that you require. Then feel free to speak up, and then she'd look into the rest of the room. And what I really want is uh, the... Uh, Nothing for me. What I really, really want is the cloak of displacement. Everything else but is that's just... a bit much. Is that a price fiction? <laughs> Yeah, I can't afford that right now. That one's <laughs> very cool, though. It's good enough. Right, right. Anyone else got any purchases they want to make? Didn't work. Um, no. I was, I was tempted by the alchemy jug, but it's um. They're, they're, I, when I when reading up about it, it didn't allow me to pour endless water, and so I was going to try and. Nothing, to... nothing in this game allows you to pour endless water. Yeah, well, that would <laughs> everything been... ends. I would just go into rooms and drown everything and leave. That's why there's nothing in the game that allows <laughs> you to pour endless water. Apparently, you can pour mayonnaise out of it though. Two gallons. In... Yes, you indeed you can. <laughs> I mean, I think that's worth five thousand gold alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I would say so. The condiments. How do I? Sorry. I was gonna say, can I can I go down? Can I also have a look at those boots of uh, Elven Kind, please? <laughs> Which you don't have to attune to. <laughs> By all means, my dear. But I would ask for the uh, the periapt of health back before you hold on to too many things. Are you going oh, yeah, to purchase this? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to purchase the amulet. Why not? Okay. Uh, do I get like a, any kind of discount if I do a bulk buy? No, I'm afraid all purchase all prices are final. Okay, give me the boots. Let me have a look. <laughs> okay, so you take the period of the cup. I need four thousand gold from you, please. Okay. And uh... Uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay, so I give her it in gold pieces. No, I don't. Oh. I give it to her in in platinum because I have ten thousand. I have plat platinum's worth. That's fine. I have yeah, enough. Yeah. Right. One platinum is ten gold. Yeah. So I give her forty platinum. Uh, no, you give her 400 platinum. platinum. Sorry. 400 platinum, apologies, it's yeah. been a long day. Okay, I give oh, her cool. So you give her 400 platinum, she graciously accepts the money, a pleasure, and then same again, opens up this kind of astral space, the money goes in, and as she does, her hand comes out with two nicely woven elven kind boots. Okay, I look They look very good. similar to the ones that Seraphina is currently wearing. And Chingo. Before I can... No, he's got flying boots. No, he's got winged boots on. Yeah, he's got winged boots on. So before I go any further, can I turn to Chingo and say, uh, Chingo, I know you're a little bit light on coin right now. Is there anything from that list, this list that I can buy for you on a loan basis? Okay, I'm a man of honor, as you know. Well, I've known <laughs> you for quite a while now. I know that. So you are the most honorable man I may have ever met. <laughs> um, right, is that a deception roll word? Or... Uh, uh, no, you know that I'm lying <laughs> straight out of here. Tell Park has them when it like they, <laughs> they know you're lying. <laughs> Sorry, I there was one thing I was interested in dancing sword. It's a new year, yeah. Yeah, that one, it's not that expensive, mm. either, so. How do I add the stone of good luck to my? So I've just worked it out. It doesn't technically. It's a bit. It doesn't actually add it as an as a plus one. Okay. Um, so what you need to do is go on the cogs tab on your character sheet. The top, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then in the middle, where it says save option, it's the middle box. Yeah. Um, it's um, <clears throat> instead of a zero on death saves modifier, put a one. And instead of a global saving throw modifier, zero, put one. And then underneath that box, you've got another box called skill options. And then all those zeros, you need to change to ones. All of those zeros. Yeah. Yeah, and that, well, but that doesn't, but that doesn't, does it actually affect my rolls? That when I it doesn't, it doesn't technically show up in the roll as a plus one, which is really annoying. But but there is, it, it is there. Uh... Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Using Apparently, the if we were using sword. a different character sheet, it would show up, but it doesn't for these guys. Using the dancing, you mean the, the dancing rapier? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would I still get the sneak? Uh, modifier. Okay, and that's uh, what's the question, sorry? Yep. Would it would I still be able to use a, um the sneak attack modifier with it? Uh, no, because you, as Chingo, get the sneak attack modifier, not your yes, items. So no, the sword, the sword doesn't also gain sneak attack. Man. If that's what you mean. Mm. Oh, oh my God, the sound is murder! Oh my please. God. please, what are you doing? Can you please, please stop? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, was there more than one stone of good luck, or was that it? Nope, one, one item. One it is now. Yeah. Yeah, it is now red. No, no, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I just um, don't think I want I'm surprised no one wanted the Rope of Entanglement, honestly. I'm so tempted by that. I Has no one even looked at the Iron Bands of Bellara? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I looked at them. Wrong. I was incredibly tempted by them. The Iron Bands are binding. Yeah, I didn't no, think they're bloody, they're, they're, like, they're like dex based and I'm very non-dexterous, so yeah. yeah. I mean, I could still get it. I was thinking him. of that with the um, Mace of Terror, and then I was like, no, that doesn't work for Bertha because she, she makes everyone scared of her, and they'll just run away, and that doesn't really fit with her, like, form of combat, so yeah. that's why I didn't bother with that. I mean, I'll be honest, if, if nobody else goes with the Iron Bands of Bellaria, I might just, might just do it, you know, so. As, as you say these words, so obviously you are speaking aloud, um, the uh, Tass would say, "The Iron Bands, you say? Oh, well, okay. Sure, let's uh, well, let's give a slight demonstration, shall we?" She, um, <laughs> no one's buying anything currently. Um, she would reach into the extra dimensional space as before. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> perfect. Um, and pulls out this weird kind of. It's just a ball. It looks like a ball of metal. And it almost um, invoked kind of uh, the same kind of uh, kind of look to you, but um, Serafina, as like kind of like the heirloom sphere, but made of really iron and not and not mechanical, but like um, like wrapped. It's kind of like an elastic band ball, but like thicker. And um, as she takes the ball in hand, she looks at Bertha and says, My dear, catch! Throws it in the air towards you, Bertha. Okay, I'm going to uh, <laughs> obviously attempt to catch it. Okay, cool. Why would I not trust her? She's such a nice lady. Oh my god, stop crackling. <laughs> that crackling sorry, is not annoying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it literally moved the sweet <laughs> yeah, under yeah, the microphone like... and then started across the ground with it. Right, <laughs> mute your microphone, mute the microphone, <laughs> mute the microphone <laughs> open the bag, and then They're already open! Them. <laughs> like, take them out on a plate or something. Yeah, yeah. Plates or when we actually go to eat them, move the bag to ourselves, so away from the They were literally place. miles away. I just moved them a bit place, I apologise. Mm. <laughs> anyway, what were we saying? The iron bands. I want to see this demonstration. <sighs> Dodge is gone. We've scared him. <laughs> oh, he is gone. <laughs> he is literally gone. <laughs> he's frozen. He's, he's having frozen a stroke. Time. Yeah. <laughs> he's just given up on us. He's like, these lot, I put all this effort in and I come here every week and... This is how they repay me. So he's just frozen in time. It'd be a pretty good oh. troll if he's actually just sitting still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be quite impressed. Oh, his uh, internet's cut out, his message, so. Oh, uh, okay. Uh -oh. 
Mum's reset the internet. <laughs> oh, oh my god! That wasn't me, that was Elliot. <laughs> Get a fucking plate. Get a plate. <laughs> Get a fucking <laughs> plate. We don't have plates. <laughs> we sold them. Free. <laughs> we sold them so that we could. God, it is. I cannot tell you how loud it is, man. So loud. Well, I'll hear it in the recording later. <laughs> Our two fans will be very upset with you. Mm, well. I don't know how useful it would be, but I am kind of interested in the eyes of the eagle. Walking around with some nerdy glasses on. But I don't know whether realistically it's going to be very useful to our party. I mean, I wasn't being useful to the party. I literally just got a necklace that stops me getting a disease. So. I'm surprised that, <laughs> that was one of the things I was like, eh. Yeah, I like the look of it. I mean, to be fair, actually, that the um, the advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on sight will be useful, certainly. It's more the in conditions of clear visibility you can make out details from extremely distant creatures. So I don't know whether that would be that big of a deal. It'd be but, useful for me when I'm doing the um, mage hand stuff, and he's like, you can't really see what you're doing with the mage hand. Yeah. So I could be like, enhance. Enhance <laughs> my power. Ah, fuck it, yeah, I'll buy those from Dodgers, man. That expensive, will they? They require a treatment. They do, but that's okay. That's alright. It's a treatment, an hour? I can't remember what it is now. It's an hour. Yeah, an hour. Cool. Do that. And then I've still got loads of money left to give to the poor, so. I suppose I could buy those prayer beads. I think, you should buy those. I think they looked awesome, but mm. I, I couldn't use those I totally would have bought them if I could. The only thing that looked interesting as well was the mithril splint armor, actually. Well, for you, Bertha, but then... I think I've decided previously about mithril, though. There was something... Of it wasn't as useful as what I already had or something. Oh, is it? Just like, okay. Oh, I remember. As in, like, it wasn't the same. I didn't need it to be... Oh, it's for stealth checks. Yeah, no yeah. So. Go on, resistance. Studies on resistance. Yeah, there's not... I mean... Oh, no, it's too expensive. Well, maybe it's not for you. Plus three splint armor oh, is not bad. The braces of archery could be good for you, Charlie. I don't really use a bow that often. Uh, actually, more recently I have been. Racing. The dancing rapier is great, but it uses up your bonus attack. It's mm. so not good. Well, I've got that whip. Um, relative. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the dancing rapier. Hello! Hello. Hello. Oh. Am I here? Life. Charlie, have you seen the scimitar of sharpness? Can you hear me? Yeah, but yeah, it's only, only a one d six. I'll probably yeah, do about that. My internet card, which was fucking yeah. less than ideal. Uh, so, where, so where did I where did I get up to? You were well, just, just through the thing. Thrown it. It said catch. So you didn't get anywhere past that. No. no. So you caught it and that's it. Okay, well, that's really annoying. Um, I don't know if I caught it. But... You did catch it, yeah. So I said, yeah, what I, what I said before I got up was, um, no, no, like, you know, she's not, like, throwing it at you to attack you. She's literally just throwing it up in the air. You catch it without any fuss whatsoever. Um, uh, you catch it, you hold it in your hands, and it feels heavy, as you'd expect it to. You'd expect it to, you know, basically a large ball of metal. You're like, oh, okay, this is fairly weighty. Uh, fairly weighty. And as you... um you know, inspecting it, she kind of looks at you, Riley, and smiles, and then says, <laughs> manners. And as she says manners, the whole ball of, like, mess and kind of elastic bangs just flies open in an instant and just encases you completely and wraps you like, what the hell just happened? Oops. Yeah, I mean, they sound cool. <laughs> she chuckles to herself for a few seconds, watches you squirm, yeah, and then again. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. You're help. just you're restrained. Help. 
Yeah, and yeah. after seeing you struggle for a few seconds, she says, manners, and the ball just kind of scrunches back up into its exact same form and just lands heavily on the floor with a thud. Rude. That was one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite items of all time. <laughs> I want to buy Eyes of Eagle, please. I'm sorry, my dear. What? As he scrolls through his thing. <laughs> Eyes of Eagle. Eyes of the Eagle. Ah. Thank you. Eyes of the Eagle. Okay, so she does the same thing. Uh, takes the <laughs> the uh, uh, the iron bands of Bellaro back. Uh, reaches into the extra dimensional space, pulls out these um, what can only be described in current times as basically steampunk-looking goggles. They're brass made with like a kind of leather band that goes around the side, and the crystal lenses are like a green kind of shade. And she hands them over to you. She Ooh. says, now, my dear, this will require some time to attune, but once you get Bless there, you. you'll be able to see much, um... Much, <laughs> much stuff. Much, Come you'll on. Be seeing much better. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Come on, you, wish to buy the, you wish to buy these? Yes, uh, I hear money, and I will just pass her some money. Is this enough? I don't know, how much money did you pass over? Uh, Two thousand. Platinum. No, 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 2000 no, gold worth platinum. I'm afraid, no, we need an extra 250 gold for this one. Oh, I'm sorry, my fault, my fault, and I pass the rest. Okay, so you lose 225 platinum or yeah. 2250 gold. Yeah, yeah, done. And the eyes of the eagle are gone. Eyes of eagle. Uh, can I buy the iron bands of Billera as well, please? She reaches back into the excellent space. Uh, pulls back out the iron bands of Bellaro. Bertha like visibly shudders. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I won't use on you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you okay, get like, annoying or something. <laughs> um, you can add the add the iron bands of Bellaro to your character sheet. The key, the command word for using these is quite obviously, and you've already been demonstrated. Manners is the word. Oh, can I not change it to bananas? I'm afraid not, mate. Um, Bananas. That one, again, sorry. Yeah, that one is 3,200 gold. I hate this spreadsheet. Go up to the bottom and check how much money I've lost. <laughs> um, I'm, actually, I will, I'll buy the uh, prayer bead, please. It's a curing. It's only oh, curing. It's only it only does the curing bit. Yeah. Yes, and I had a number of charges on this one, and I believe it was four. What? Yes. No, but then you don't you what, what forever? Does it not reach? It recharges once a day, but you could get up to. Yes, yeah, there are. Four. That's what I thought. All right. I thought, I thought it was just one. So that's, that's Thank you. No, look, the necklace has 1d4 plus 2. I rolled it earlier, it was 4. Um, that's magic, isn't it? If the magic bead is removed from the necklace, the bead loses magic. Six types of magic beads exist. Oh, okay, dog, thank you. I am Yeah, that's what all am. curing is. Thank you. Basically, it's. I can go if you want anything. Again. So basically, it's a it's a necklace of prayer beads that has four charges of cure wounds that, when you use, between this one, yeah. So it has four. It has you have four like extra cure wounds basically. Do I also get restoration? Well, or lesser restoration, yeah. But each one, yeah, each one is curing. So yeah, it's just just write down prayer bead, prayer beads. They all have curing, and you have four charges. All right. So, and, uh, by the way, and it, guys, needs, it requires attunement to just have a good idea. If well, you guys have, um, have um, charges on items, you can create uh, a little tab for charges on character sheet. Right. Yeah, on the right side of the character sheet. Yeah. Oh, it's only telling your items. It's really nice. So yeah, um, 3,600 gold, please, Elliot. Oh. Uh, do I need to add plus one to my, sorry, to 
My saving throws as well. Hmm. For the um, thingy, yes, I believe so. The um, I, think, I think it's maybe I think it's done it already actually. For the luck stone. Oh, I think it's done it. Yeah, it has. It's done I'll check already. Up. I'll check all your guys. I'll make a mental yeah. note of that. Sure, no, it has, but... My dex was nine, and now it's. So three of you have luck turns. Oh, did you? Um... Want... Oh, sorry. No, no. I I just look upset in the corner. <laughs> okay. Too too much shame. In this is life. the Chingo torture episode. Mm -hmm. Bertha has a lot of shit in her bags, by the way. I'm just looking at the list of items that Lucy, the hoarder. Has uh, accumulated over our campaign time, and um, um, she's got a lot of shit. Like any insights, anything you know, um, out of the ordinary. Are you talking well, about the um, bag of holding or the loose? No, no. There is some stuff in bag of holding, some stuff not. Um, um, is is Tass like a a potion master? No, there's a different um alchemist. Okay. Around here. The alchemist. So if I remember. Identified potions in my <laughs> bag. You've met before, it's a creepy, skeleton-y, floaty, ghastly mess. Um, I'm looking for the name, but... Uh... Nightshade or something. Oh, I think it is Nightshade, I think, actually. You may be correct there. Uh, but yeah, it um, has sold, sold potion kind of things before, and also gave um, Robin the ingredients what required to do a, basically a restoration spell. And yes, it is a kind of wraithy looking creature called Nightshade. Very heavy metal. Dodge. Yellow. Yeah, no. The amount of stuff that Lucy has, a lot of it's shit that we can sell. Um, how would you who? feel about us? Who, who? Well, like general trader stuff. Like, for example, um, some bone pipes. No, I got told I wasn't allowed to get them. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Somebody wanted them. Um, some iron ingots. Who, who um, can sell these to? Well, I presume a local blacksmith or trader of some descript. Um, you know what they say about presumptions. I Don't make them. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, perhaps you could have a look at this long list of shit and um, we could fast travel through trade for an average price. Just don't want to take forever selling shit. Okay, fine. I guess you're going to keep hold of it forever, honey. Uh, um, I do have my most recent uh, uh, addition, um, which is the magic chest from level 10 5C. I can't remember anything about it. To the book we go, looking for level 10 5C. We get to level 10 5C. And it is a pantry. Ah, yes, you entered. <laughs> you know where this is from, I believe. This is from very close. I think this is very close to the well. There was a magical chest inside yeah. of the well. Um, yes, you did find that the chest was a magical item. But you do know not. I don't think anyone uh, identified it, so you have no idea what it is. Okay. I'll keep it. It's fine. Not but yeah, I will go and see the potions lady in a bit, or potions person. Don't want to assume their gender. I've, uh, I don't know if dead got, people have gender. I've still got hold of the boots. Um, can I buy them, please? You would like to purchase the boots of elven kind? I would. As they By do all means. Achievement. They do not. Two thousand gold, please. Okay, I hand it off. Did you really go through the entire list to find out what for human? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so far, we have sold the Periapt of Health, the Luckstone, the Prayer Beads of Curing, the Iron Bands of Bellaro, top line of my own favourite, Eyes of the Eagle, and Boots of Elven Kind are all gone. Oh. I'm good. Yeah, Bertha's gonna have the money chat with the with the chest lady. Okay. Make me a chest out of money. If you are all finished with buying these magical items, uh, Tass would politely ask for the um, <coughs> large tome back. Begin to, begin to thumb through it and scratch out some of the items, and then 
open this extra mental space she has been pulling everything out and inside of and in it goes and her hand comes back free of things and she's like very very good doing business with my dears i look forward to doing more with you in the future we always know that we can come here for an interesting magical items task, thank you. Yeah. I will try and keep us in stock as much as possible, as much as gold has little value to me. I mean, it's nice to have, I guess. Can I, whilst I'm in the shop, because I'm very eager, can I put my boots on, my new boots on, and also sure. put my new amulet on? Can I no just... I asked her about that last statement. Gold doesn't have much value to you. <laughs> so much <laughs> Say, what, what does have not my long life. My life, you know, it will come to an end, like all things. I'm trying to stop it, but it will not. You know, unless you take drastic action, my life is the most precious thing to me now. Would you... No, I would not part with my gold, Chingo. I am not a fool. I can see that look into your eyes. You are hungry for it. You crave it. You will never stop chasing after it until the day that you end up in the ground. Probably before me, at your behest of chasing gold. But we shall see. Aren't we already in the casket? No, no, I'm afraid you will. If you are buried in a golden casket, someone will get word and dig you up, leave your bones on the floor, and take the golden casket to sell to the highest bidder. It's what a pointless excursion be? chasing after these gold. Cased in gold. For a minor amount of time, perhaps, until they are taken by the dirt, like all things. But enjoy your pursuit of gold, Ching. I assume you'll have a wonderful time while you do it. Oh, yeah. I say, um. But well, the, the point, point was, was uh, perhaps we could trade. If you're not so worried about gold, perhaps we could trade employment for magic. What kind of employment do you have in mind? I don't know. Is there things you need to prolong your life? Not particularly, no. Okay. I'm doing quite all right. Have you not noticed? And she would like flare herself up. She's old. Let's be. Let's not be real. I mean, she looks about. She's human. Around eighty or so years old. Not 100% how exactly what her age is, but looks around 80. I, yeah, I give her a look. Yes. Very sprightly for a woman of your age. Advanced years. She would chuckle slightly. And just look at you still. Let's leave. <laughs> Let's leave. <laughs> okay. Let's do my money box, please. Bertha, you are um, asked to stay behind. She was like, now, my dear, I assume you would like to make a larger contribution to your family? This can be arranged, obviously. Yes, please. Can you make it look quite different from the previous one, just in case somebody had suspicions about the last one and intercepted it? Well, I showed you the evidence of no interception, did I not? I'm very thorough with the work that I do. No, and I appreciate that. I just, you never know what people are like out there. Like, perhaps the last one was a box shape. Maybe this one could be a sphere or, you know, just a minor change. You never know what who's do you have in, What do you have in mind? Just the shape of the box. <laughs> could it be different? By all means, yes. Do you have any design particularly in mind? Um, I'd like it somewhere on it to have the... An engraving of the mountain where my family live, so that they know that that's what it is from me. But maybe, I mean, I can, yeah, like I can, I can, I can request a mountain be engraved. I don't know if I can request a specific mountain that I have not seen or heard of, but I can that's definitely fair. do a mountain. <laughs> yeah, that mountain. Very well. Um, let us see. And may I inquire to how much wealth you'll be transporting this time, just so I know how much precaution I must take. Um. I'm going to give you a thousand gold pieces and five hundred platinum pieces. Pigo's ears just perk up at the words. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Face in the hand. Six, six <laughs> thousand gold. Okay. No, a um, thousand. One thousand gold and. Six hundred oh, yeah, platinum. Six thousand platinum. <laughs> yeah, gold, yeah. So seven thousand in total. Yeah. Um, okay. Hmm. And what okay, would you like means... in your payment for its safe passage? I can't remember what we agreed last time. Your family will literally never have to lift a finger again with that money. Yeah, I mean, that's the circle that's, of Bertha once. That's, that's <laughs> the point. <laughs> what, what's the that's point of remaining here. here now, Bertha? Well... Could you not just go back to your family and live a happy life? Why? 
Do you hate them so? No, <laughs> I don't hate them. I love you them. You just don't I desire to be with them. and happy. Like Chingo's plotting Bertha's murder is mysterious. <laughs> it's towards this point of um, her trying to like just fathom how much of this money is going to go. Um, she was like, to be this is a substantial sum of gold, and you know, as I've mentioned to Chinga before, I'm not so interested. But you no, know, other people would be. I would not feel comfortable sending this amount of gold by courier. Okay. So I'll deliver this myself. Oh wow! Okay. Is that okay? That's an no, extraordinary no... offer, Tass. Do you want anything in return? Do you want? Do you need somebody to? Have you got somebody to a, look up? Call it a favor or an IOU. Okay. If you will. Okay. 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 Um, so she would reach into the same extra, extra, dismantled, well, or extra dimensional space as she has done before, and would pull out this um, kind of, it's kind of like a white sphere, um, with a obvious kind of seam in the middle, and she would like open it up, and it kind of, <laughs> as corny as it sounds in Doctor Who, it's kind of bigger on the inside. Yeah. So as you kind of place all of this money into there, kind of like, you, you like put it in, but as you put it in, you realize it kind of gets really, really small. Um, story of my life. You can still see it, it's like a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a red line kind of thing, and as you do, you put it in, you see like the gold, like the gold pieces are still there, but they're smaller. Um, and I assume you place all the money into it, and she would snap it shut. <clears throat> it's going to take me a few days to, um, you know, gather up the right materials, but I still have the same, place where your family live firmly in my head so I know of a place close by plus it would be good to get my wares back up in order so yes a few days I think and I'll uh, I'll contact you the same way and I will not use Clark this time the fool he will still be busy at that time I understand um, very well I will inform you when uh, when this is done how much money do you intend to send to them, Bertha? Seven thousand dollars already in are the you thing. Still within earshot. <laughs> <laughs> are you listening and watching? If so, get out. <laughs> <laughs> My ears are somehow burning. <laughs> One day I hope to see them again, but for now, this is part of my quest. I must continue. Okay, so. The shopping with Tass is done. <laughs> what would you like to do now? I need to go and chat to the potions lady. Potions? Can we okay. go and rob a dragon okay. now? Yeah, can we go and rob a dragon? Yeah? Well, yeah. No, we, no, we need to get Chingo's money back. Oh, we need to get Chingo's oh, yeah. money back. Of course. Chingo doesn't care. I think he does. I Look at him, he's alright. I can either rob a dragon or kill some children. I don't mind which order. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not we... down with killing children. I don't, I don't care. It's a Halloween <laughs> special. We're going to kill kids. <laughs> We're not going to kill any kids. I will not let you kill any kids. I will use my iron bands. Can I at least no, sell really. them into slavery if they don't have them? No! Yeah. Could make a fair profit to me. Before I go and chat to the potions person, I say to my party, I've got a potion of comprehension and a potion of watchful rest on my person. Does anybody want them in trade? Because I'm never going to use them. No. No. No, no interest. No. I'll go with you though, because um, we'll see, I'll see if she's got any more potions of healing or anything to buy. Okay. For the yeah, I'll be interested to go to the potion thing. I'll just, whatever hey. she's got potions of healing wise, I'll just buy them all for everyone. You head over to uh, the familiar shop that Nightshade runs, which is... It's scaring me right now. But you head to Nightshade's shop regardless. It sounds like we've got the Battlefield 2 theme tune going on, right? Witcher 3 uh, music. Exactly. Correct. Right, you are. Um, you head over to Nightshade's place, the familiar, uh, gross, kind of undead, almost mummified kind of body floats and approaches towards you and does the horrible voice that I'm not willing to do at this point, but it's like, oh, fuck it, I'll try and look. Like, oh, man, I'm over you. <laughs> That's like, I'm the page. Mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering if I could make a trade with you if you would like 
some potions from me. You made the same joke last time, little man. <laughs> um, what are you after, sorry? <laughs> Just saw some Benadryl. Bertha's wondering if um, Nightshade buys potions off people. Uh, I am afraid that I do not purchase unknown potions. Are you able to identify a potion for me? You, you know what they are. Um, I... Oh, no, we do have a couple, I, I don't know. Yeah. I may try. And she, like, it holds out this kind of horrible bony hand that is just kind of rotted skin and flesh and bone. I have what do you hand a, over? I have a grey potion. Level 10, <laughs> room 11G. <laughs> and I never found out. This is why we write these things down. Robin, don't you have one that is unidentified as well? No. It's a grey potion. Yes, it is. Um, the creature in front of you would use one of these bony hands, like the long end finger, like the little finger, but it's actually quite dis like distended and long, would dip it in, kind of rub it between its thumb and thumb and little finger, and then would go like to where the mouth would be, but you don't really kind of see it. It goes under like the um, like embalming kind of you know wraps and stuff. Um, and would kind of nod its head and be like, This, my dear, is oil of slipperiness. Oh, um, can you tell me anything more about oil I think the local whorehouse must be interested in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can I you will. tell me anything more about it? Is it just for <laughs> tripping people up or... Uh... Let me... Other activities. Other activities of slippery nature. Yeah. There we are. She would describe all of the things in that link. In a raspy voice that sounds like this. Finally, all takes ten minutes. Wow. Oh, it can pour as an action. So, so it's the, now the, it's, like, it's no longer grey potion, it's now oil of slipperiness. Slipperiness. <laughs> oil of slipperiness. Blue. It's like when Amber had those um, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, marbles. Oil slipper in a sound more D and D though, not lube. <laughs> Do I have to keep on the character sheet where it's from? Will that be helpful in the future? Uh, no, now that it's identified, now that it's identified, now just uh, change it for oil slipper in and you should be golden. Slipper in this. I'm totally renaming any lube I ever buy. <laughs> the oil of slipperiness. Just you wait whilst I apply my oil of slipperiness. It does take just 10 minutes to, to apply, apparently. <laughs> just head it to Anne Summers and just ask for oil of slipperiness. <laughs> Ahoy there, good merchant. Can, you, can, can I acquire some oil of slipperiness? <laughs> okay, cool. That's, um, that's me done. That was an exciting adventure. Has anybody else got any rogue potion? Mm. Um, Can I what? ask if there's such a thing as a uh, potion of proof? <laughs> the like potion of truth. <laughs> Definitely zone of truth, but that's a spell. No, I can't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody who could. Mm. I think. Mm. I say that. Time is. Time is required. Dodge, is this the guy who sells the, the reagents for um for uh in reincarnate? Indeed. Yeah, I'll buy one of those. You have seen him before. Uh I do not appear to find a official canon elixir of truth for fifth edition now. Yeah, Dodge, I buy um, a reincarnate, please. The creature would nod its head in memory of you doing so before, and would spend a few minutes gathering up the right materials, um, and would hand over to you for 1,000 gold pieces. Yeah. A selection of weird and wonderful reagents used for the spell Reincarnate. Please add it to your character sheet. It's a very important. Done. Done. Well, why was it done before you even might not have had any stock? You fucking... 
I would like to have what potions of healing, extra healing, whatever. I want to know how many you have Ooh, and how much good you question. Buy. Oh no, it's my ring on the wrong finger now stuck. <laughs> One second. Uh, holy. Huh? I had this written down somewhere, but it's in a different file. Huh? Different file. No. From a long, long time ago. Well, no, you can't, yeah. Okay, so she would. What are you doing? Stop like treating them. I was going to delete them, but I haven't done it. Sorry. What? what? I decided to delete tranquility off of my thing, but it's fine. We can re edit somehow. Oh, okie dokie. Um, the creature would come back uh, from the back room in a similar vein as she has done before and return with um, five normal healing potions. Uh, three greater healing potions and yeah. one superior healing potion. That's super How much? For, yeah. How much for all of them? Uh, calculator. Well, how much for each potion of healing first? Each healing potion, normal healing potion, is fifty gold. Yeah, and greater healing potion. They're two hundred and fifty. And super potion. They're two thousand five hundred. Fuck it. Um. So in total, that's uh, 4,250. Done. Okay, so you add, remove 4,250 gold pieces, oh, you no. add five. Just 200. Yeah, yeah, 200, and then I need another 200. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that math is horrible. It's less than that. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Okay. It's 250 plus, I did, I madded them up as 150, so it's 750 plus, it's 3,500, sorry. That was horrible maths. Uh, you had 625. So then it's... 3,000 uh, how much? 3,000? 3, 3,500. So, so if you had 6050, it's now... You, your total platinum is 275. Cool. cool. So you gain five normal healing potions. Yep. So just healing potions. Uh, three greater healing potions. Yeah. And one superior healing potion. Cool. Cool. Um, I look at everyone. Uh, how many of us are there? Six. Eight. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Um, Chingo, I hand you a potion of healing and a potion of greater healing. Um, uh, who else is front line? Kate. Sorry, uh, Serafina. I hand you also yeah. a potion of greater healing and a potion of healing. Um, Lucy, sorry, Bertha, I hand you the potion of superior healing and the potion of greater healing. Barney. Um, uh, Elliot's character, sorry, I hand you two potions of healing. <laughs> Elliot's character. <laughs> Amber, I hand, Amber, I hand you two potions of healing. 64 weeks, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Is that everyone? Have I missed anyone out? Apart from yourself? Yes. Alright, cool, fine. There you go. Oh. How much was the potion of greater healing worth again? Mm. Great healing's 250. And what's the roll on a greater and a superior healing? Uh, greater is 4d4 plus 4, and the superior is 8d4 plus 8. Wowzers, trousers, 8d4 plus 8. Just putting that inside. For the future, we're gonna live forever. <laughs> nah, we're nah, gonna nah. learn how to no fly. Everything dies. I wanna live well, forever. Sure, like a level twenty druid, which you know, is not just what I do. Um, all right. Anything else? Um, I don't think I can think of anything from the potion lady. Do you have any more money? No, I'm nearly run out. I'm getting there. I got 275 platinum, 600 gold, and then obviously the rest. So that much. Okay. Chingo, what's next in the step to recover your cash? I don't really know. We're waiting for information from the 
lady, so I don't know whether we try and chase down these children some more or we go back to Dragon Heist in the meantime while we wait for information. How long have we been waiting for this information? Uh, so you went to the thing, went back to Dalekus Fortress, talked out for a bit. Uh, hold on, did you have a long rest in between that or not? I'd say no more than 12 hours. I'm just trying to remember if you had a long rest before going to the woman or after. I can't remember either. After, I think. It was the last thing I wrote down. So I feel like after. Yeah, I know you went to see, um, I believe her name was uh, Maggie, the orphan lady woman. Did you long rest and then leave? No more than 12 hours, we'll say. I know that for a fact. It could be like three hours, but it also it's definitely not more than 12. I'll have to do a short remember. rest to a tune. Is that all right with everyone? Yeah. yeah. Head back to the or a tune. Head to the orphanage. Get um, a bit more pissed off. While we're in town, anyone want to go to the blacksmith? Um, yeah, I've got some things. What are those can... spears? That, all those harpoons that we ordered? They were used. <laughs> Oh, you used them in the Abolith fight. It was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got cheated there. Ching, ching, they were called, called Ching Poons, Simon. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Canon, official, official lore canon for the rest of D&D time. <laughs> they are now Ching Poons. Ching Poons. Sounds, Sounds somehow rude. racist, but... Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can live with it. Ching Poons. <laughs> um, yeah, I might have some stuff that I could do in the old smith area. Don't need that anymore. I don't need the blacksmith. Danny, I will go back to the house. Chill. Yeah, I'll go back as well. Yeah, whatever. I just want to kill some kids. I don't want to kill any kids. I don't feel comfortable with that. Actually, sod it. I don't need to go. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, actually, sod it. I'm going to come and kill some We can kill them. No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's completely against everything that Bertha does. Kids, I'm afraid. Most people stand for, to be fair. Even if Lucy was feeling like a little bit murderous, that it just wouldn't. Sorry, I didn't need to do that. Uh, Bertha only abandons children. She doesn't murder them. <laughs> wow. 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 That was... That was a low blow um, for you. There's a long, complicated story as to why she had to leave her family behind and go, and she's not going to tell you because because you're she a dick. Trust you. <laughs> Never you asked. Are a dick. I did ask. I got a uh, unsatisfying answer. Maybe Chingo will push the issue one day. <laughs> Bingo might not come out of that with his head. Huh? Ooh. Fighting talk. <laughs> Right, short rest, please, Dodge. Okay, you go back to Dalagos Fortress, you wait one hour, you attune Tune to the right. items that you wish to attune to. Remember, you can only attune to a maximum of three items. I'll be checking it later. Um, so, yes, an hour passes. Uh, nothing really changes in that hour. To the orphanage. Okay. Yeah. To the orphanage. I promise we won't beat up kids. You head, uh, you head over to the orphanage, back over. Yeah, um, where it is. It is, I believe, up here somewhere. I think it's this room right here. I believe is what I assigned it. Uh, you head up, you knock on the door. Uh, a familiar old crone that you have met previously before. Her name is Maggie. She has introduced, introduced herself before. Um, as you approach and enter, she was like, Oh, welcome back, my dear. Welcome back. I'm afraid we've been looking for the... Uh, the children you asked for, but they have not uh, not made an appearance as of yet. But the butter's under her breath, it's probably because they're rich people. I want to speak to one of the children who is friends with the um, kids we are looking for. Very well. Uh, let me go and find one a second, and she would slowly, back intensely in pain, crawl towards her. Uh, the side room where you've seen children playing before. Seems a bit more quiet than it usually is in here, but um, yeah. who knows? Maybe they're depressed, they're orphans, you know what I mean? You, um... They're rich orphans now. <laughs> Some of them are. <laughs> Some of them very much are. Uh, where are... 
No, ah, here they are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, you'd hear like from the from the old crone Maggie. She would like stow all and start calling out, Owen, Owen. A uh, couple minutes pass. A blonde, kind of uh, like fairly longish hair for a young boy looks to be. It's kind of kind of looks to be about five or six years old, but it's hard to tell because this creature is most definitely elven in variety. Uh, not dark elf, not drow, but normal, uh, normal elf. And he would kind of slowly approach and kind of look at you, like this man wants to talk to you, dear. And you are looking. Into, I am not mad. I'm a tiefling. This. Sorry, tiefling. Red tiefling. Whatever. Red man. Red man. Red man. You're... Hello, child. I'm still a fan of your red man. Red man. Your... I understand your name is Owen. It is nice to meet you. My name is Morthos. This is my friend Chingo. Chingo had some things stolen from him recently by some of your friends. Do you know who we're talking about? would kind of look at you for a second and then look down and shake his head. Come on now, if we we can be friends too, can't we? Hey, I tell you what, I have just the thing for friends. And I pull out a gold coin. Ha, do you like the coin, yes? We kind of not take his hand out for a moment and then kind of slowly reach the hand out. Please, take coin, friend. Um... Okay, accepts the coin, kind of looks at it for a little bit, kind of holds it, just... Now we are friends, aren't we? I've, we have just, I have just given you gifts, we are friends, no? It, it kind of feels like you're buying something from me. Oh no, I'm not buying anything, I'm not buying anything at all. I, uh, I tell you what. You tell me where your friends are, you know, the ones that took my friend Chingo's money. And uh, <laughs> I will make sure that you, my friend, are taken care of as well. Are you... Are you you're going to be my dad? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I will be your dad. Oh, God. Make a persuasion check for me. Please pass. <laughs> <laughs> that luck stone. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's already added. Oh, I thought it's going on my camera. I don't know if it's really annoying. I, th yeah, I, so I thought you kept on angling it towards your crotch while speaking to this child. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You want to my dad? You want to my <laughs> want to be my dad? <laughs> oh, it's flashing. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so 16. Um, the young boy would kind of uh, look down for a moment um, and then begrudgingly give up and say, I I know where I know where Mike and Grace are. Mike and Grace. Excellent. Well, why don't you tell me? Um, he um. would kind of come outside of the door slightly and kind of point to the um, like the southernmost part of this area, which is uh, down here. Oh man, this is so messed up. You just promised to like become this kid's yeah. dad. He said maybe. He said maybe. All <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Kids love technicalities. Okay. Now you. He got gold. Now you stay here for one moment. I will just go and speak to. So you're saying that they are down here? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like nod his head and kind of still be looking down. Oh, and. You have done such great thing, you don't even know. As I promise, I want to be your dad. I'm just going to go and speak to the... Uh, what's what's oh, the me. lady's name who runs this place? He's actually about to do this. Her name is Maggie. Maggie. Maggie! <laughs> Maggie! Yes, yes, my friend. Yes, my dear. Hello. Owen, look. Owen is an excellent boy and i feel that he's wasted in a place like this i want to take him as my son really really but, i've never you, had a son before and i think it would be really cool oh my god 
Uh, oh, okay. How much? Um, 20, 20 gold? Uh, 20 gold? I mean, you don't have to pay me for... If you want to adopt the boy, then that that's perfect for me, as long as he's happy with it. Oh, in <laughs> uh, the, the boy looks kind of concerned, considering as he, like, has left the front door, he sees the hulking bone horror that kind of sits behind you, and it's kind of terrifying. That's but, Auntie you know. Oriana. She will look after you. Make, just make me one more persuasion check, please. I was expecting to be like, oh, that's your new sis. I just want to... <laughs> please fail. Please pass. Yes! <laughs> A look of kind of almost fear and nervousness like washes over the boy and you can see it clearly on his face when um, the thought of leaving, uh, leaving the orphanage and going about, you know, with his new potential adopted or like a adoptee father kind of says, okay yeah I'll, okay awesome amazing yes i'll um i'll grab my things kind of yes. runs back into the Thanks. room a nice parent for him on the way morpho so he's dying in combat I'm um, kill this kid you're gonna kill this kid can we no, can it's I... the combat stats of a child I, I have I have I have stats for children. I mean I we, wish I didn't, but I do. We could turn him into oh. a No, useful... can we not turn him into anything? Can we just like can we just We could raise him as like the, the kind have, of group's we... child. I have promised him a family and you promise him, you said might. No, we're a family. <laughs> we're a family. I'll show him the way. You, it's, 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 do you want me to break this kid's heart? Do you want me to break this kid's heart? We'll make him, what, we'll, you're either gonna break his heart or actually kill him. We'll make him heart. pocket heels, come on, and then I can go full druid. He can be the he can carry all the potions and run up to us and hand us potions. Yeah. He's our he's our I don't want him we'll anything. train him to be like the most hybrid class, so he'd be like a bit bit of a bit of everything. Okay, you know, pour the potion, pour the potion in your mouth when you get knocked unconscious. Yeah, and then you can participate <laughs> in the combat. I need him for that. I've got a blooming bat who can do that for me on with my amber. I'd rather the bat who just disappears, did it? Then, uh, I don't know, Barry. Like because I'm going to be at the blooming front of the no. battle as I always. Reckon, I reckon a small five-year-old is a better choice. Oh, in are coming. We are leaving soon. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm just trying to make a token for this small child. Um, oh. The yes, he would only take a few minutes to gather up his things, and it's kind of like in a essentially just a brown sack, um, and would carry it over his shoulders. Like, okay, well, I'm ready to go to your house. Well, whenever you are. Excellent. Uh, don't worry about the bag. Oriana can carry that. And I, Oriana extends her hand out. I wouldn't worry the... about the hat. Um, the, there's clear, um, there's clear, like, uh, what's the word, like, nervousness from the album boy. Um, but eventually would give in and kind of hand over the bag for Oriana, who picks it up with minimal effort. Excellent. Right, come on then, little Owen. Done. Let's go. Hold on. I'm about to give you a character, but this this token's going to be massive. Well, there he Whoa. is. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve oh, he's Big boy. Oh, he's a chubby. healthy boy. <laughs> big boy. He's, he's as big as Bertha. Not Bertha. Oriana. How <laughs> Bought like a fucking basketball player. Okay, son. Let's go. Why don't you take us? To the uh, to the house where you, where your friends are. Why does he look uh, like a character from Final Fantasy? Because it's literally me typing <laughs> "blonde elven boy" into Google Images <laughs> and finding the closest picture that looks to what my interpretation of Owen is. Um, Morthos, you have full contract. Uh, uh, sorry, full control over the boy here, and well, that's it is. You can't. You never have full control over your kids. Well. See what happens there, and I'm here going we are. to raise you just like my mother raised me. Oh God! Oh dear! <laughs> Chingo just laughs. <laughs> Jesus, this is dark. Okay, okay, so you head. Also rise. You head over to the southwestern portion of this upper part of Skullport. Um, as you approach the building, the you can see that this building is very much looking in a abandoned and horrible rundown state. Um, the doors and windows appear mostly boarded, although there is 
a small crawl space in the bottom of the where the door has been boarded that you could imagine a child could crawl through without issue. Or a halfling. Or a halfling. Can we sneak in? Come on then. Yeah. I am more sneaky these days. The sneakier ones among us. Beth's going to stay Because she's not sneaky, but also because she doesn't want to condone any uh, negative <laughs> actions against children. I just want to get in there before someone kills him. That's quite a good Okay. Point. So, yeah, anyone going that. inside, please roll me a stealth check as you go in, yeah. trying to sneak through the small oh, hole. Oh, bitch! <laughs> My god, that was a touch, such a bad roll. That's 10, I got 12. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay outside, keeping an eye on, making sure that no kids run out. Seven? Do I now get advantage? Is that how it works? Uh, you'll have to tell me what the boots do, because I'm not... No, actually, I do get advantage, yeah. Seven. Mm. We have advantage on dexterity self checks that rely on you moving silent. So there we are. So you do have advantage, yep. So you have 29 plus 14. Yep, okay, so... Fairly quietly, and Amber, with her new boots of elven kind, you feel a lot less... Mm, noisy and you know, yeah, a lot less noisy than you have been in previous times. You manage to just about squeeze through the small crawl space at the bottom left of the boarded up door, and you are you see, it's a building, there is a, sl a staircase that goes up, um, it looks, appears to be a quite old, um, like grand looking house um, but it's quite obvious that there is this place has been raided heavily in its time, um of what furniture remains, most of it is scuffed, dusty, and um, very much robbed, shall we say. So you I enter know, the house. I know, there's, I know there's, this is all stolen stuff. I mean, there's nothing in From just looking about the room, you can see that all the drawers have been taken out of the, like, um, the, like, wardrobe, that kind of thing, to the side. There is one staircase that goes upwards, uh, and there is a door on your left. Can we hear anything? Or smell anything? Make me make me a perception check. No. Nah, nothing nothing really strikes out to you. There doesn't appear to be any loud or like, you know, apparent noise and no particular smell, apart from like the smell of dust in the air. Is there anywhere where the dust is disturbed or footprints in the dust? No, There's no footprints necessarily in the dust, not with that perception roll that you can see. Can I do a perception um, roll as well, please? Uh yeah, sure, I'd assume. I also have advantage on passive wisdom perception rolls. Just so you in here? It's for what? Sorry. And uh, you here? No, you're not yeah. in here. No. Oh, sorry. No. Um. All right. See. So cool. Um. Where was I going? I've lost my train of thought. Passive yeah. perception. Ah. Okay. Yes. Um. Serafina, you would notice that the of all the places in this room that you're in, it's like central corridor, um, the way that looks most used is probably the staircase. Okay. Can I silently gesticulate going up the staircase to my companion? If anyone's going upstairs, I would like a... This staircase looks rickety, old, and potentially extremely creaky. I would like a anyone who's going upstairs to please roll me another stealth check as you climb. Can I start flying? Can I walk you up can. the wall? So, the walking up the wall would still invoke noise, so I'd still need a stealth check. I'm regretting my decision. Maybe, maybe stay downstairs. <laughs> Too late now. I think I'll stay where I am. I'll guard okay. the exit. No problem. Okay, so silently, Chingo cool. moves up I'm as he flies over. Up, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go up as well. I've got 25. And the bat will make, the bat mill will make obvious noise in, in here. Really? Um, oh, just okay, well I won't around. do it then. Just a, yeah, just as a warning. I'd like, it will where you're trying to be as silent as the wind, the bat will flap. And it's, uh, okay. even if, as you summon the bat, you hear like the flutter of wings. You're like, oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, bad idea. <laughs> I can <pocket. laughs> um, Okay, so the two of you stealthily and quietly as the breath on the wind will make your way up to the top of the stairs. And you can see um, to your right, there's a slight corridor that goes about five feet or less. And at the very end of it, there is a door that is slightly cracked open. It appears there is some form of flickering candlelight coming from this room. Can I hear anything coming from the room? Make me a perception check. Oh my god! Uh, 
the both of you. Mm, hard, hard to hear anything coming from the room. Oh, the, yeah, the sound of... Name. Yeah. <laughs> Chingo, poor bitch. <laughs> uh, the flap of the um, the bat's wings that was recently summoned and then dispersed kind of uh, interrupts the what was complete silence in here, and um, there appears to be no sound that you can readily hear. And let's get go towards the door. Okay, okay. You head towards the door. Um, can we, can can we see front... anything through the crack? Yeah, before we go in. And can I go in front of Chingo, please? Uh, as you approach the crack in the door, as you peer through with just one eye, you don't seem to see anything obvious. Um, it appears to be a empty room, uh, maybe a bedroom of old, but the bed is like cracked down the middle. Um, the straw mattress now opened up and just kind of scattered over the floor. Any other furniture that just through the crack that you can see, it's hard to make out, but everything else seems to have also been looted long, long ago. But the door Let's still rain, remains mostly okay. closed. Let's go in. Can I go in? Open the door as quietly as possible. Yeah. Uh, okay, you open the door. As you open the door, um, you hear the shuffling of footsteps um, as soon as you start to slowly open the door. As, um, as you open the door, you see a young boy around maybe 10 years old or so, um, short brown hair, cut roughly, uh, wearing dirty rags as he kind of stands up um and you can see that behind him he's clutching another small humanoid um that is basically now hidden behind the boy and he kind of looks ear, eyes wide like a deer in headlights okay can i go in and say it's okay we're not here to harm you <laughs> we're just here to ask a few questions right chingo what, what are you doing? <laughs> i'm silent at the moment <laughs> what, what, what are you doing in here who are you? My friend here has had some money stolen and we know on good authority well that we well we're pretty sure it's you. Are you Michael? Me. <laughs> Let's just me. check who you are. <laughs> Make me an insight jerk. The the moment you mention um well the first thing you notice as soon as you start to lay the questions on this child is that uh he looks at Chingo for a split second and then immediately looks at the floor. Um, and as you start asking the questions about um, stolen money, the boy goes white as a sheet. Don't worry. We just want to establish... Oh, what you keep you... cutting out. I can't hit. Sorry. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. Um, but just, we want to establish why... Where, well, where is the money? I can see that you know something about this. Where is the money? Did you do it on behalf of somebody else? Uh, the boy kind of shuffles to like his feet, uh, trying to keep them together. Uh, but it's kind of hard to hide at this point that the money is kind of directly behind him in the exact same coin place it was stolen in. Okay. Uh, just the money is now kind of spread out on the floor. Okay. Um, it is over. wrong to steal. Can we please have the money back? If you give us, if you give us that, I'll give you some. I'll give you some money for my own coin purse for you to survive on. But could you give our friends money back? Because it's not a kind thing to do. Make me a persuasion check. Oh shit! You should have offered them adoption, Kate. That's. I mean, I'm, that's, I'm, that's a tactic I'm going to go down, I think. <laughs> oh, for God's we sake, can all we have, have a travelling troop of fucking No, not for care. me, to go and live in blooming <laughs> Damagol's fortress or something. Oh, God. Um, the boy would kind of... Yeah, me, yeah. me. The boy at this point would kind of <laughs> braven up, um, and he would say, uh, I'll only tell you where it is if, if you give me the money first. I can see where it is, isn't it, under your, isn't it behind you? Can I like slap my hand and face at this? Sure. I can see the money. The boy, by your the boy still tries. The boy still tries to hide it. I can see the money by your feet. There's, please don't lie about this. I really don't want anyone to get hurt here. So. I feel like I'm seeing Teacher Kate come out right now. <laughs> 
I mean, I don't threaten the kids in my classes. <laughs> you know, I'm not, not threatening. I'm concerned that my friend Chingo here is going to do something. What about adoption? Do you do that? Yes. We can. I can give you. We can give you money, and we can also give you somewhere safe to live. Yeah, away from here. This is not safe. I, I'm. I, I'm getting a bit annoyed now. I'm like, right. I've had enough of this, young man. You clearly stole the money, which means two things. One, you're a stupid little boy. But two, you have some skill. It's like a hand. I'm no easy man to rob. So perhaps a bargain can be struck. I can get you the finest thieves training in all the land, and you can become rich and powerful like me. Or I can take the money and, well, we'll see what happens to you. Make me a persuasion check with advantage. Nice. Very nice. Easy, easy you you you'll teach me how to steal things better. Not necessarily me, but I can. It can be arranged for a fine schooling in the naughtier arts. <laughs> So oh, no, 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 that is gonna need a persuasion check. Any cool. You you <laughs> that um, um, you, uh, uh, okay, but okay, but you have to, you have to promise me though. I don't want to go back to that orphanage. Why not? It's horrible there. What's does it? the woman, does the old woman, not look after you? as much as she can but she's not going to be there forever and once she dies then we'll have nowhere nothing well you've just had a large cash injection in the orphanage so i think it might be a bit nicer yeah but maybe well, she's gonna be dead i mean something horrible might take over i'm sure we can arrange a better level of care at the orphanage but you don't have to go back there i don't care I stole the money because I need to feed me and my sister. And we totally understand, to... and we will give you some money to do that. The better okay. bed. And a better place to live. It's at this point, the boy kind of, come, like, after much deliberation and thinking over, would kind of step back over, still holding his uh, presumed sister yeah. behind him, and just kind of keeping, like, hidden, and step back and, Chingo, you see, you're quite bus. It looks just as full as it ever did. <laughs> okay, I I mage hand it to myself. No problem. You Using pick the up the mage hand to like, finally <laughs> measure the weight. <laughs> Chico, you receive all of your money back. <laughs> Can I? Um, um, if uh, let me get the exact number just in case it's all forgotten by you. Oh, it's on the spreadsheet. Oh yeah, yeah. Just uh, yeah, take it from the spreadsheet. You've got all your gold and your all of your. Platinum and gold pieces and silver pieces and blah 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 blah. They are returned to you. Can I um, give them ten platinum pieces, please? Whoa, fuck. What? Yep. Yes, you can give they the boy one hundred gold worth of platinum. Um, yeah. Well, why not? Uh, Come on, they're flimming kids. I can keep it in your pocket. Keep it safe. You might. I'm sorry, but you're giving them ten. Employing them a mother. Also. You're giving them oh, ten right. actual platinum pieces. All right, well, I'll give them money in a pub. Like. No, no. As, so you, so as you go over to hand these platinum pieces to the children, the boy kind of look. The boy kind of looks up to you uh, and says, "We, I can't spend it. That's why I haven't spent any of this money. This, <laughs> the, no one would accept this platinum from a small okay. boy. They'd just know they'd stolen it." Okay. This is the problem I had before. I couldn't think of a way to spend this money. Okay, well, would you like me to give it to you in smaller bits? <laughs> uh, if, if you want to give me money, then uh, yes. If Look, look, I can sort this. Don't worry, Serafina. And uh, I've, got, I've got someone who will be able to help these children in a more discreet manner. I'll just give him ten gold to start off with then. I said, no, no, give, give, give him the platinum, but uh, I will take the children with me for a while. Where? I cannot tell you where. 
But Bertha knows it. Bertha can come too if you're worried. <laughs> I'd like to go with you Kill them. outside the door. I'd okay. like to come with you to see where you're taking these bits. Okay. Okay. I think it's a mercy killing. And I give the boy ten pattern pieces. Okay. And he keeps he, it in his... After, take the kids. after forcing him to accept it, he will. Well, he doesn't have to um, have it. If he really doesn't want it, then I'll give him something else, but... Oh man. When I wish I had a chaotic evil character. Right. <laughs> the fun. Okay, I'm in the news. Come on in, okay, kids. I, I lead them out of the building. Okay. Um, and they, I, um, expl- I explain the same say. deal can uh, can also involve this other kid. I can't remember his name. Owen. Each new son. Owen. <laughs> that's Your my friend son. Owen. Your friend Owen, Owen is Owen. outside. Have we told you where we were? No. Uh, you, no, you no. ratted on it. You no, rat. I, I just you said rat. I haven't. He didn't tell us where you were. We found out using magic, actually. So why is Owen here? Well, for some reason, our friend adopted him. <laughs> Maybe a deception check. Well, no, it should be very true. hard. It's a young boy. That's true. No, but the, per- the previous statement was not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Catherine <laughs> Bailey oh, failed, to, to, failed to deceive a small child. Perfect. No, perfect. I'm just trying to make them feel happier. You snitch. The the young boy clearly sees through your lie and can clearly tell that Owen. You you stutter on when you're like, oh uh, uh, no, we used All right. magic. And All right, I'm sorry. It's a clear lie. It is a clear lie. I apologise. Our friend, our slightly questionable, sometimes friend, bribed him. So. Don't worry, it's not his fault. He just did what he had to do. He's only little. He's only little. Anyway, come on. You can so all be you together. Exit the building. We're all good friends. You exit the building, crawling through the small space. Um, as you do, the um, the two kids come out, followed you know, followed by you two, and the two kids kind of. Co- I don't have tokens for Grace and Mike because I That's haven't fine. made them yet. Well, not but they um. Yeah, exactly. So I thought it was pointless. The um, I'll just make them skeletons now, shall I? The the um, <laughs> would approach Owen and be like, Owen, why did you tell on us? Uh, I told right. you it's the, not his fault. He was bribed. And the hey, young don't talk bo- to my son like that. Well, Owen, elven, you don't have to answer. As no. you say that, the young elven boy would be like, "What well, doesn't matter? Because I've got a dad now." He does. <laughs> Me. Oh God. Hey, Owen, no, one, no one taught you to be rude to children. Sorry, so, yeah. I, I don't care. Okay, so I lead, I, I lead the way uh, down a a path Bertha knows uh, to the Thieves Guild. <laughs> On your own, ask, with your children, or no? I'm going I with ask him. Everyone, everyone to wait outside, uh, and I, I go alone. I ask them to wait like a distance from the Thieves Guild, like a street away. Okay, so, yeah, so you, you, you make the long... Ask uh, the kid for the ten platinum that Kate gave him. No, can I follow Chingo secretly? <laughs> I want to make sure he's not going to do something dodgy. So I will you sneakily... Enter, so you go, to the very, you go to the very southwestern part of the map. I will not be left a street away when I obviously said I want to make sure... That You're metering! Stop it! No, I wasn't measuring. You are. You heard what you did after you left. Anyway, no, I was planning to do this anyway. I was just thinking it in my head. You go. You go to the far southern western part of the map on the like middle level, uh, on the same kind of thing as the flag and dragon. Chingo leads Bertha and Serafina to Bertha, a a, you know familiar path, but to Serafina a new one to this what appears to be abandoned building over here on the map, and you see a barrel drop. Thanks for the name. The uh, a. door set into the floor which Chingo raps upon a couple of times and you hear the scraping of metal on wood as a bolt opens and the door opens inwards. Chingo, what do you do at this point? I uh, just signal, I'm like, guards wait here and I, I go in. Alone? Yep. So just you? No children, just you? Okay, yep. you enter the uh, doors shut behind you and you enter down into the thieves guild seeing the familiar faces you have seen multiple times in the last few days i go to and the, uh, the, fir- the first thing you notice there the main guy the kind of blonde haired short guy a uh, short blonde haired guy who you've met in the black leathers before and says 
Ah, I recognize you have a, a, a larger jingle in your step. <laughs> oh, well, seems you've got your coin pass back. Condolences, congratulations. A slight misunderstanding. Um, I have an unusual request of the Thieves Guild, but I'm willing to remunerate you very handsomely for it. I'm listening. I have some children outside, and they have come upon a fair inheritance, shall we say. Um, although I worry about giving it to them, I would like to use you as a trust fund manager. Please I explain more, to, he would say. I, I want you to give them the money in trickles over the years, uh, and keep the money secret and safe. And of um, course, uh, some of this money you will be able to sell. So. so you're asking me to steal the money from these children that you have... some of the inheritance that these children had? I'm very confused what you mean. If you're looking for... it sounds like you're looking for a bank. I don't trust them. But there is another service I require of you. I want you to train the, the young boy, the older boy, in the waves of the Thieves' Guild. He is very talented sleight of hand, and I would like him to know the ways of our friendly clan. And again, yeah. I'll be happy to pay you handsomely. How old is this boy, may I ask? Around ten. Hmm. It's possible, yes. Um, Good age for learning. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll, you know, allow him to take some tests here, see how good his skills really are, And but it sounds like this is the child that this must be a child who robbed you, So Chingo. Is that correct? I look around to see if anyone hears this question. A, a, a few people are looking in your direction and stuff, but no one seems to pay much notice to it. Kind of dark in I here, give, though. I give the world's smallest head nod. <laughs> like, oh, it's well. Perceptible. A, a thief with some inherent skill already. Well, okay. We're always looking for... Fresh blood, young talent, and people with the drive to learn. Sure, we can uh, can train him up, take him on as an apprentice, and I'm sure he'll do great work for us at some point. Yes, by all means. I, I put very slightly so no one else in the bar can see. I put the ten platinum on the bar and say, "This this is the money I'd like you to give them over the years." Um, and then I put another two platinum on the bar of my own money, and I'm like. I'm sure this will cover any of your expenses. I mean, we can feed them and house them in the Thieves Guild without problem, as long as the boy proves, um, you know, proves worthy. And, uh, it seems like he has much potential, but you keep saying the word them, as if there is more than... There's three of them. One. There's no need to house them here. They they can continue to live in the orphanage. Um, just make sure they're looked after properly. Um, the orphanage is very well funded now, so... How well funded? Exceptionally. I am the benefactor of the orphanage. You have given much money to the orphanage? A small amount. Okay. Small to me, at least. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Very well. Yes, okay. We'll send the boy down. We'll, uh, we'll vet him. Okay. Thank you very much. I leave, and then um, I go to the kids, and I t tell the boy that... Uh, Oh, you, it seems they are interested in you, but there'll be some small tests. Nothing nothing dangerous or scary. Um, and I open him to the door. Don't worry, you'll be reacquainted with your sister uh, this evening. Or whatever passes as evening in this place. And then to the other two I say, shall we back to the orphanage? Owen um, is my son. He is not going back to orphanage. Okay, well, just the girl then. Thank you. Okay, so the boy, uh, he nervously steps down into the Thieves Guild, but kind of trusting what you said, um, that he will receive some sort of tra training and kind of job out of this, would slowly kind of go down, look back towards the sister, and the sister would kind of nod towards him, and uh, he would go down, door shutting behind him in a similar, similar vein. You've seen, Jenga, as you lead the other two back to the orphanage, Assuming that Grace's nothing sister. untoward was to happen, the sister is uh, dropped back. Grace is dropped back to the orphanage, in the to the hands of Maggie, who kind of brushed her off. And you are now left with um, 
yourselves um, and a young elven six-year-old boy named Owen, who is now so you yours. You have to remind me how much money I promised to give the woman. I don't remember you saying you'd give her any money. Yeah, you, was it? 40 platinum. 40, yeah. yeah. You gave her 20 now, which was the 20 I gave you, and then <laughs> 20 when we got your money back. Okay. But that's un, that's unfair to me. I don't remember fully remember the number. But when I give it to her, I say, look, this is quite a lot of money, and uh, I'm not very well known around here, so if if you could uh, perhaps put up a little sign of my generous <laughs> donation, just to let the local populace know who your <laughs> the Chingo fantastic new bitch benefactor is. <laughs> well, we're, we're very happy to receive jo like donations of this size. We're more than grateful, but what we're really looking for is for people to adopt these young children, like your, like your red friend there. Excuse me, so what is your name, sir? Looking towards you, Morthos. Oh, uh, my name is Morthos Abaddon. I have a little, ta I have a little house just outside of the city. Actually, the yeah, that's where I was raised. Are you gonna leave there? Fuck no, the kids coming with us. The the Abaddon orphanage. That could be. Okay, we'll think about something like that. But please, no, if no, you no, no, the <laughs> any... home, Chingo's home for the underprivileged. <laughs> well. Regardless of name, name is not important, but we will continue to use these funds and use this story of hope to bring, you know, maybe these orphans, some other adopted, you know, from foster homes and foster parents. That would be... Fantastic. I shall arrange the sign. Don't worry, it will be applied post-haste. <laughs> if you are thinking uh, of names, uh, the Oria Oriana's orphanage is another one that I would consider. You're, 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 you're like, happy to, don't worry, I'll arrange the sign. And she's like, I'm not <laughs> sure about that. And as she says that, you just shut the door. Okay, so you... Uh, we're back to square one. You have your money back. Excellent. Uh, we only think we've gained here one. is a. We're, it's one plus one. Oh, we, yeah. are, we are. We are now oh, a party of have, seven. Eight, I have one really. question for you, my son. How yes, would sir? you like to see a dragon? Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. God. Um, but like a, of like a real dragon? A real dragon. What? Where? On another level in this mountain. There lies a dragon with a great hoard of gold and we would like to take some of that gold from the dragon. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I've never... I, I didn't think dragons were real. I oh, wait, this, my son, my son. What do you mean by, what do you mean by level? They What's are level? real. So, I, it's a long story and I will explain on the journey sometime. But the point is... Dragons are real. Would you like to see one? Y yes. Excellent. Then we will go on an adventure to the dragon's lair. Right, everyone? Not with this kid, no. Uh... Pete, I can't believe you want to do another token. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have to kill a kid in this game. I mean, you might not. You might not. I mean, you put a kid against dragon, I'm pretty much definitely going to have to. <laughs> I'll You're be gonna careful. have to buff that kid. No, I'll can't be just careful. leave him I'll in flipping safe at Denicle's fortress. Cruel world! Besides, who knows what's gonna happen? Kid might be fine. I'm gonna look after him, I promise. Okay. <laughs> you could. Oh, he could pilot Oriana like a mech suit. Oh, yeah. I want him to get better acquainted with Oriana as the journey continues. But, you know, that's that's what? a story for Pete, you. you can't even look after yourself. You yeah. died like three times. <laughs> that could be your new character when you die. <laughs> Take over Owen, the six year old child. As well. Mor Morthos dies, and then next session, Owen just fucking gets like 18 and ripped. Just like, ah, <laughs> oh, I'm a fighter now. 12 <laughs> years have passed. <laughs> yeah, just absorbed Morthos. Like, ah, oh, <laughs> father! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the. The rest of the time is yours. The day is yours. You have, you know, six plus one, the small child. What um, what would you like to I do really now? I really quickly need to run to the blacksmith and basically, like, how much is, like, a giant cast iron sign, like, fully backlit, like a brazier of fire, 
Um, so you request the sign, and what does the sign say? I'm gonna write this down. Was it Chingo's home for the underprivileged children? <laughs> underprivileged. Oh, actually, it needs to be Chingo, Chingo. Bingzal, Di Martinez Bingzal of the Oh God! <laughs> so for underprivileged the, children. He's starting to like the Dwergar, one of the Dwergar blacksmiths. Yeah. One of the Dwergar blacksmiths is, you know, writing out a design and it's got like a wood plaque. Um, and he pulls out like a piece of wood that's probably the right size for her. And then explain, you explain, you want Chingo's, um, what is it, home for the underprivileged? Um, and then he's. Martinez brings out the. Yeah, yeah. Home. So at the start, you say, I want Chingo's home for the underprivileged. And he starts spacing out the letters. And then you say, Oh, actually, I would need um, my full name, Chingo de Martinez brings out of the third. And he just kind of looks up at you like. I'm also going to need a bigger plaque. <laughs> and you just see him scribble out a number in his notebook and then just kind of add an extra amount to the number as he starts spacing out the work again. Um, a custom wood on iron sign will take about a day, maybe two days to make, especially with the backlit brazier, which is basically going to be fires or like candles in between it. Um, and it will cost about five gold pieces to make in total. And they'll fit it if. You know, Maggie and us. I will double the size, and I'll give you fifteen gold. And it needs to be a full brazier behind it. If you want a full brazier, it's going to be a lot more work. Um, it'll take probably about three days or so. But you could double the size, and they'd say, "Okay, around this is getting quite extreme. Let's call it, yes, yeah, call it fifteen gold." Yeah, you got it. Okay, I give him, I give him seventeen gold, and say, "Do do a good job." Uh, I'll, I'll be Chingo back in a few weeks, weeks to check on the installation. Okay, so we have the yeah, Chingo, no. the Chingo de Martinez brings all of the third home for the underprivileged. Is that correct? <laughs> for underprivileged children. I don't want random tramps to. <laughs> for underprivileged <laughs> children. Okay, that is now official Skullport canon for the rest of time. <laughs> okay, that's oh. all done. You okay, so he said he yeah, explains he'll deliver it. He'll deliver it to the orphanage in around two to three days' time when it's built. Right then. All right. Back to Delagor's uh, fortress to thrash out a plan for Dragon Heist. Yes, sounds good. Um, do you mind if we call it there though? Is that all right? Just because I'm a bit tired yeah. from today's actions. I think Lucy's a bit tired as well. Just we can actually Monday. plan Dragon Heist at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I might be slightly be really busy that day. Not going to I'm lie. sure we'll find like 20 minutes or something. <laughs> Actually, it's, minutes, Dodge, so... it's great if you're not there because you don't want to hear our plans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Also, yeah. You, on this plan, you could, you could spend as many times you know, yeah. writing up this plan as you like. Um, I am down with the plan. That is that's me. It's going to succeed. And the longer you wait, the longer you get, the closer you are to Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons, and you are fucked. <laughs> that's actually available now on Roll 20. I was going to say. It's available on Roll20, but not in physical uh, thing yet. It's kind of annoying. Or it is, but not on Amazon, so it's super annoying. Damn it. But we're when, getting there. When is it available on Amazon? Uh, November 2nd, so okay. you're too late. Haven't got you're long. dead. Oh, no. You're dead already. <laughs> no, no, no. We'd like, I'd, I'd quite like to do Dragon Heist when you have it. So yeah, that's I don't good. really understand why it makes a difference to have this book. Because all the rules are very much more specific than I expect. Well, new rules, baby. New, rules in there new dragon rules. Yeah, but this dragon existed before the book. So it can't have new dragon rules. <laughs> yeah, but oh, you what? Can it can't change? You can no, change it can't the change. Dragon. Why can't it change? <laughs> You're such a meta belly. No, I'm doing exactly what the book tells me to do. You can't run down to level 23 and then run back up and just murder over your way through one. It's not how this game works. Well, I think I, mean, I think just because... I feel like that would be a possibility. Yeah, well, exactly technically, awesome. yes, but I will not allow it. I'm not going to let you go all the way down to level 20 and then be like, hey, can we just steal all the like you know gold from this green dragon's lair because he's a little bitch now? No. Things evolve. That sounds like exactly what I would do. I'm yeah, but also... <laughs> In, in the, the spirit of the game, you don't just be like, you know, walk down a thing, but like, you're thinking down as you're walking for a long path and be like, I feel more powerful walking down here. <laughs> this path. It's, like, it's almost it's like as you get path. more powerful, it's almost as you get more powerful walking down these strange roads, the other things around you get more powerful too. He hasn't been walking down these roads, he's just been asleep on his pile of gold. No, he's just been watching and waiting for the intruders that came into his lair once to return. <laughs> Just biding his time. 
And they that's get, why we've they, got Owen. See? So that's, no, that's not why we've got Owen. <laughs> so are you saying if we hadn't gone back and tipped him off about the back door, then he wouldn't be waiting and planning and he would have been the same level? Mm, essentially, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Good Things to have know. to change. Well, thank you for that session, Dodge. I have yeah. grown <laughs> more as a person than I ever have had before. You are going to murder a child. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a dad. I'm a father. <laughs> I'm a father, and I'm excited for the future. Well, your child is going to die. Well, welcome to the biggest anticlimax of your life. <laughs> wow! 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 I have a loudspeaker. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> There's a little glint in your eyes. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty. It's not great. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you guys find out that for yourself. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still let, recording now. Before. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna clip this and send it to the children. No worries. As a father, like, hey, wanna watch this? <laughs> let me just say. That I know your pain as a father. <laughs> Pick up dog parents and then you can decide. As a father for the past 10 minutes, I feel I, I feel understand you, it completely. I feel you, brother. The past 10 minutes of a fake child and a fake game as a fake <laughs> character. will die immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, have met, I have met dads who have acted that way in the past, so it's, it's not an unusual. Like, oh man, I'm a dad now. God, I know how you feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, I'm stopping it now. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, have a Bye. Bye. Bye, YouTube video. Yeah, guys. See you on the weekend, hopefully.